attack with their outside backs. He is the perfect model for that, that philosophy. And the other player that came in, Seba, known by simply a nickname. And a card is going to be shown, and in a preseason friendly, nobody's going to be shown a red. They're simply wave another player on. But foul is drawn by the Indy 11. Lindley, the player that was fouled, immediately a tap on the back from the Indiana Wesleyan player that got him. I think that's Jackson Carpenter that was the guilty party. But a second chance to work on set pieces here for the Indy 11. And it was just kind of that, uh, it wasn't Carpenter that got him, it was that step right there. Yep. Great job by our camera crew to bring that to you. And speaking of our crew, thank you to Jordan Shu, David Kahn, Aaron Van Wolding, and Alex Laverne. Making sure you can see all the action from Grand Park from anywhere in the world this afternoon. Blake. Oh, what a ball. Sends it in. Touch, tipped, and scored. Well, you heard my partner's <laughs> expertise on the quality of service, so not surprising that the ball finds the back of the net. One nil for the Indy 11. 29 minutes in. How's that Quinzati's first touch today? It makes sense, right? So Sebastian Guinzotti, that is what he has done for so many years. Again, Brad and I, because, uh, you know, we're old, we go about talking things like this. We saw Guinzotti play for so many years for the New York Cosmos, suffered an injury right at the end of the, end of the 2016 season, then went to Tampa Bay and became